I bought this multi-purpose rope at the dollar store and you can just cut off the length with the scissors and I threaded some worsted weight yarn into a yarn needle so I'm just going to fold this end over like that and I'm going to sew through a few times and turn it over and sew through this side as well and now I have some Elmer's glue and I'm going to apply some along here and I'm just going to start wrapping my black cord around when I get here I'm just going to wrap it a few times like that and then I'm just going to weave the yarn end into this coil so I'm going to go back and forth a few times trim that off and I have one here that's finished and then you would simply take your purse handles and attach them to the sides of your bag by just sewing over and over with some matching yarn take this purse handle I'm working with worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to chain six or seven you can check and see how many you need to be able to wrap it around the rope and if it overlaps that's fine as well and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch across the chain so single crochet in each stitch chain one and turn that chain one takes the place of the first stitch so single crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch across the chain and you're going to continue to do that chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch across the row like that and you're going to keep doing that in a long strip like this until it's as long as your rope handle place the loop that you made on the rope handle here this will be sewn onto the bag and then that will be sewn to cover it so place your cord inside and then you're going to wrap it around the rope like that and start sewing it to cover the rope so you just keep sewing this all the way until you've covered all of the rope it's optional whether you wrap some yarn around like that you can or you can just leave it plain and then to attach it to your bag you'll lift this part up sew this on with the with the yarn and then bring this down over and if you leave a long enough yarn end well you have that you then just sew that all the way around to cover up everything and you'll have a good sturdy handbag handle To make these purse handles, I'm going to start out with a length of rope and I'm going to cut it twice the size that you would like and I'm going to fold it to find the center and I'm going to bring my ends here to the center and I'm going to overlap them a little bit and I have a needle and yarn and I'm going to sew through all the layers just to attach them And like I did for the other purse handles, I crocheted a short length by chaining seven and then just worked row after row until I had as much as I would like for the center of my strap. Again, I'm going to put some Elmer's glue here and make sure this is centered. So I'm going to take my yarn needle and I'm going to sew it to cover up my joint. So then you can pass through both the rope and the crochet section and that will keep this from moving and weave that into the finished work and you'll have these easy handbag handles and to attach these you simply whip stitch over the ends and attach them to your bag. To make these purse handles, I'm going to use a nylon cord. I got this at the dollar store. You can buy nylon cord in any place we buy yarn. Usually 
at Michael's or Joann's. Red Heart Super Saver also sells a nylon cord. And I'm going to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I have two of these wooden rings. Start with a slip knot. I'm just going to hold my yarn in my hand the same as I normally would. And I'm going to bring my slip knot around to the front. And I'm just going to place my hook through the ring, pick up the yarn, and pull it across, and complete my single crochet. And then I'm going to make another seven single crochet on this ring. So the hook goes through the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and finish the single crochet. I'm going to do that eight times so that I have eight single crochet in my wooden ring. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I have eight single crochet in my ring. And when I'm finished, I'll take a yarn needle and I'll weave this yarn end back and forth into this work. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So I just insert my hook in and complete my single crochet. that and now I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to repeat I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across the row one so chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch across the row okay I have a total here of four rows that I have worked and at the end of that last row, I'm going to come over to the other side and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Three, four, five, six. And I'm going to slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain one. And so that my work doesn't look twisted, I'm going to make sure that I single crochet directly in that same slip stitch so that I don't have a twisted look. So I'm going to go ahead, single crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to join in that first stitch, again chain one, single crochet in that same stitch, when I get to the end, I always, I always slip stitch into the first single crochet. And that's how that looks. That's the underneath. Here's the front. And you're going to continue to work those rows over and over until your bag handle is as long as you would like. You can make just a hand held bag handle like this, or you could make it longer to go over your shoulder. And I'll show you how you do the other end. We chain one, single crochet in each stitch across the row. But now you don't slip stitch to join. So there's my first stitch and there's my last stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across. And I'm going to do that for four rows the same as I have on the opposite end. Okay I've got this side finished and it's exactly the same as this side. Again, I'm going to hold my yarn in this hand, and then I'm going to pick up the ring. And then I'll pass my hook through the ring, pick up the yarn, and pull it through, and then finish my single crochet. Now I'll go into the next stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, finish my single crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way across the row. And there you go, it's all attached. So now I can fasten off and then I can just take a yarn needle, weave my yarn ends back and forth into the finished work. So these would be cute as just some small little handles like this, or you could make them longer, or you could even make them shoulder length.
To make these bag handles, I'm going to use jute twine. You can buy this at the hardware store, and I think I actually bought this one at the dollar store. I'm going to work with three strands at the same time and my 9mm crochet hook. Start with a slip knot. Chain as many chains as you would like for your bag handle. I chained a total of 34. Fasten off. Fold the end up, pull the yarn ends through a stitch. Separate the yarns and wrap around one way. Tie a knot. Wrap again. Tie a knot. Like that. You can make this wrap with the same jute, but I'm going to use a contrasting color. I've placed two strands of yarn on the yarn needle and I've tied a knot in one end. Insert the needle through the knot. Now this knot and all of these strands will be together on this side of the knot. Wind the yarn around. I usually do about three until I'm level to the height of the knot. Continue until you have the knot covered, like that. Pass through the wrap. Back up one stitch from where it went in and weave through again. Repeat to do that one more time, like that. Cut off the yarn at the opposite end. Grasp all of the yarn ends and trim them off. I'm working with a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and some chunky yarn. Place your hook inside the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, and then just lock it in by taking one stitch with both the yarn end and the working yarn. And that'll count as the first single crochet. Now make two more single crochet in the ring. Okay, three single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Make a half double crochet in that very first stitch. Yarn around the hook, come over, insert the hook, through, pick up the yarn and pull it through all three loops. Chain three. One, two, three. Yarn around the hook, come over to that very first stitch, insert the hook through that stitch, and then turn the work and then complete a half double crochet. Now you're going to repeat that over and over. So chain three, one, two, three, yarn around the hook, come over, insert into that very first stitch. Now turn the work, pick up the yarn and pull it through all three loops. One, two, three, yarn around the hook, Come over to that very first stitch, insert the hook, turn the work, pick up the yarn, pull it through. And you just keep doing that over and over like that. And then when you have it the correct length, you're going to place your ring in front of the yarn, pick up the yarn and pull it through the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, and now complete two more single crochet, one, two, now come over to the other side and slip stitch to join and that will be the other end of your handle. And there you go, that's how easy it is to crochet this purse handle. I'm working with a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and four strands of worsted weight yarn. One, two, three, four. Now I already made the video in black and it doesn't show very well, so I'm going to redo it with this color. And we're going to crochet as tightly as possible, and I'm going to crochet 30 chain stitches. So, one, two, three, four. 
Okay, so you chain 30 like that, and then you fasten off, and you're going to take a key ring. You're going to pass all of three strands through the key ring, bring it up about an inch on the cord, and then bend the cord over. Take one of these strands and wrap it tightly around, and then tie all the cords together in a knot. And then with a the yarn needle, weave all these yarn ends back inside of the chain. And this is what you'll have when you have a key ring on each side. And then when you're ready to sew these onto a purse, you can just place this on the side of the purse and then just sew it there with the same color yarn as the purse.